Dr. Kevin Christie, your Boca Raton chiropractor. Today we're gonna to go over the signs of foot dysfunction, just to give you an idea of what we're looking at when we evaluate uh, feet in our clinic. A lot of times we get patients with plantar fasciitis, heel pain, Achilles tendonitis, various uh, types of foot and ankle conditions, and we look at the signs that we may see that could lead us down the path to say, okay, maybe this person's foot is flat, or they're putting stress on this part of the foot, really gonna help us when we're assessing and then subsequently doing some walking analysis. Uh, right out of the gates, we're gonna, we're gonna take the foot and we're gonna look to see if there's a, uh, a bunion. Most of us have heard of that, the typical bunion on the foot that we see at the, at the big toe here. Um, this, this foot does not have one, so that's pretty good. But we're looking right here for the traditional bunion. Now, one of the things that people forget about is what's called the Taylor's bunion. And that's gonna be on the pinky toe side of things. And so someone could have a uh, Taylor's bunion here, which is gonna indicate stress on, on that area. Uh, next, we're going to look at the top of the foot here. And sometimes we'll feel a little bit of a ridge, which I do here, it's not too prominent. But on some folks, it can be very prominent and irritate and rub on the, on the undersurface of the top part of the shoe. And that's usually some excessive stress on the area uh, there as well. Uh, next, we're going to look at the person's back of the heel, and there's something called a Haglund's deformity. Most of you have heard of um, heel spurs that we get on the heel here, but you can actually get it on the back of the heel as well, where the Achilles tendon inserts, and that's usually indicative of tightness of that whole calf and the Achilles. And so, folks with that, we might be concerned with Achilles tendonitis or tendinosis calf strains, plantar fasciitis, and then sometimes actually that Haglund's deformity will be so prominent that it's rubbing the back part of the shoe and it can just get inflamed and irritated. And so that's another type of sign we're looking at for the, for the foot. Uh, and then lastly, there's other ones, but these are some of the big hitters we're going for, is uh, a lot of people have heard of hammer toes. And a lot of times what happens is the toes will curl kind of like that, and they're called hammer toes because it's kind of hammering the ground as they walk and they're really clawing into that ground and that could be a problem. So a lot of times we'll see toes that are uh, kind of curled like that, all right? Um, there's many other signs, but those are some of the big hitters that I wanted to touch on today. It really helps guide our examination, our treatment, some of the corrective exercises. Maybe you're you know, requiring an orthotic or some type of insert, but it really helps us during our exam process.